Prince Manufacturing Corporation's Magnum 3000 cylinders are economical to buy and durable in the field, in part due to the wire gland retainer and unitized piston. If you need to repack one, follow these instructions. First, set out the tools you need, which are a rubber mallet, flathead screwdriver, punch, pick, pliers, flashlight, scissors, hex head wrench, channel locks, grease, impact socket wrench, an end fitting pin and cotter key, some hydraulic oil, and the seal kit which will include the orange colored removal tool and a band clamp. Next, drain the oil from the cylinder, then secure it and fully extend the rod. This can be done in a clamp or on a table using the slide hammer technique with an end fitting pin in place. Mark the rod as shown here so you can make sure it remains fully extended, thereby avoiding the problems created by trapped air. Now use the pick or flathead screwdriver to remove the external retaining ring. Using the mallet and punch, drive the gland into the tube far enough to expose the groove inside the barrel. Cut the orange removal tool to the proper length as shown in this chart. The goal is for its length to equal your cylinder's inside circumference. Gather some grease on your thumb and index finger and apply it to the removal tool. With the narrow feathered end leading the way, install the removal tool in the groove. Use your fingers or the pick to ensure the removal tool is properly seated in the groove. This is the step that will allow the wire gland retainer, which is inside the barrel, to avoid getting caught in the groove during the extraction step. Once again, insert the end fitting pin, place the cylinder on a table, and remove the rod assembly using the slide hammer technique. Now secure the rod assembly, extract the removal tool, and with an impact socket wrench remove the piston nut. Using the pick, remove the rod seal and then remove the gland and the unitized piston from the rod. Proceed to change the rod, the gland, and the unitized piston seals. Reinstall the piston nut being sure to apply the proper torque value as shown in this chart. With the piston and the gland repacking completed, place them back on the rod and then place the rod back in the tube. The wire gland retainer will need to be compressed in order to get it back to its groove inside the cylinder. This can be accomplished with a band clamp in the seal kit as shown here, or it can be done with a channel lock as shown here. Choose your method and then tap the gland until the o-ring passes the threshold of the cylinder. Using the mallet and the punch, drive the gland slightly past the opening of the cylinder body to ensure the wire retainer travels far enough to become seated in its groove. Once again utilizing the slide hammer technique, tap the pin just enough to re-expose the external ring retainer groove. The wire gland retainer will now be fully seated in its groove and the external ring retainer can be placed back in its groove, completing the repacking process. Prince Manufacturing Corporation providing outstanding customer service and support. Be sure to visit our website for parts manuals, CAD models, and our catalog. Please take a moment to like this video with a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified of our latest videos.